I hope that you won't get too confused when I tell you that not only is there something called key modifiers in Vue.js, but there's also something called modifier keys. Modifier keys refer to keys such as Control, Shift, Alt, and the Windows or Command keys on Mac. With modifier keys, we can trigger an event listener only when one of these keys are pressed. Modifier keys are not limited to being used in conjunction with keyboard events, as we will see in this lecture. First, let's use the key up event on a text input as we did before, this time with the shift and enter modifiers. So I'll just add the key up event once again. I'll say dot shift, which is the modifier key, and dot enter, which is the key modifier. And I already added an event listener named my listener. So I'll just add that as the expression. So now my simple event listener is only invoked if I press the shift and enter key simultaneously with the text input in focus. So let's test that out. So now I can enter several things and I can press enter and nothing happens. Also the same with the shift key, but if I press shift and enter at the same time, we'll see that the alert is displayed. In this example, we have once again chained multiple modifiers. In this case, a modifier key being the shift key and a key modifier being the enter key. I mentioned that modifier keys can be used with mouse events as well. Let's see this by adding a new button with a click event. So I'll say button v on colon click and I'll just call the event listener my button listener and give the button some text. Let's say click here. And let's add the event listener to the methods object. So my button listener and function, which is just going to display an alert saying you click the button. And let's try it. If I click the button, an alert is displayed each time, which is hardly any fun, let's be honest. But if I use the shift modifier key though, the event listener will only be executed if I click the button while simultaneously holding down the shift key on my keyboard. So let's do that. So I'll say dot shift after the click event name. And let's test that out. If I click the button normally, nothing really happens. But if I do that while holding down the shift key, we now see the alert. The last modifier key I want to mention is one named meta. This modifier corresponds to the command key on Mac keyboards and the Windows key otherwise. So replacing shift with meta on the button would then mean that I would have to press the command key instead since I'm on a Mac. So let's do that. Oops. Like so. And now I'll press the command key and the mouse and the alert is shown. While this works on a Mac, I haven't tested it on Windows, but it should work. The reason I say should is that when using these keys, there's always a risk that the operating system or browser has some built-in shortcut for certain key combinations. So if you do want to use the meta modifier key, then be sure to test it out and be aware of any possible collisions with other operating system or application level shortcuts. Enough theory and examples for now. Let's use what we have just learned in practice by doing a few exercises.